So for today, we're looking at highs right around 60 degrees, mostly sunny. Winds will be breezy, but not as breezy as yesterday. So we're actually starting to see those calm down. As we take you through tonight and into tomorrow morning, temperatures should drop to right around that freezing mark. You'll notice our winds are coming more out of the northeast. So that's filtering in that cooler air you're going to feel for tomorrow. And as we head through your Thursday, you'll notice more of those winds staying persistent out of the east, bringing temperatures into the upper 40s and lower 50s for those afternoon highs. So a little bit of a cool down. We're expected to stay dry for your Thursday, but it's... Friday, where we're going to be watching a system coming out of the south that may bring us a few isolated showers. It's really not looking like much. So if you do have plans for your Friday, rain chances are going to be on the lighter side. Here we are through the rest of your week. Wednesday, Thursday, we're dry. A few more clouds tomorrow, so I would expect it to be partly to mostly cloudy for your Thursday afternoon. And then rain chances will hold off until we get into Friday. It's very light though. You'll notice here we are around 6.30. So that's, this is Friday night. We're starting to see some isolated to scattered showers. And this will likely continue into your Friday evening. Some of those may linger into Saturday morning, but for the most part, we're looking for this to impact us for your Friday night. Then we will bring in drier skies for your weekend, looking amazing, in fact. Now, next week, I do think rain chances are going to become more likely. Temperatures will be working back into the 60s, but overall, as we look at that temperature trend over the next seven days, very consistent, right around 60 degrees, which is about where we should be for this time of year.